back to my channel. Now it has been quite a while. I've uh, done a video. My last video was on the uh, Samsung uh, mobile phone, the Fold 3, which did well. But today is something totally different. So guys, if you're an editor, a photo editor like myself, uh, you probably heard about the uh, new release of Exposure uh, 7. Now I had the version 6, so this is uh, only just been launched a few days ago. Now there is a 30 days free trial if you want to try that, uh, which I've done, but I will end up buying it because it's very useful for the kind of work that I do. So I'm just going to take you through this. So it might be new to some of you or some of you probably have used it before. So basically uh, it is like Photoshop, but much better. So let's just say, for example, I can actually uh, do, or oh, you can open this up in uh, Photoshop as well. Uh, so let's just say, for example, I've got this image opened here. I'm just going to open this image. Now what you normally do is you make all your adjustments and then you'd go to a filter. Can you see where it says exposure software, exposure times seven. Now I've still got a time six because that was from last year, but the time seven is only newly released. So that's how you would do it. So that's how you do it. And you know, you've got all these uh, You've got all these presets at the side. Now this video is nothing special. I'm just uh, walking you through to this uh, software just to show you what it does because it is uh, very useful. As I said, if you're a photographer, just like myself, uh, it's very, very useful. So here I've got the Exposure 7 open. Now, let me just show you the beauty of uh, what this can do. So let's just say, for example, like I say, it is like Photoshop, but just much more better, more features. So, you know, you've got all your sliders here. So you can see what it's doing to the clouds at the back there. You know, you've got all of these uh, sliders, again, similar to what we have in uh, Photoshop. Now, what I love about this is uh, I will go through the uh, settings briefly, but just to show you guys now the t uh, curves... Now the tone curves, uh, the turn, the tone curves itself is actually a very uh, powerful tool to use, whether it's in Photoshop or in this Exposure Time Seven software. Uh, I will do a separate video on tones, but just to give you an idea, guys, I can actually uh, mess around with this image just by using the uh, tones. So, I can put like a four point, four points here, and then I can sort of like mess with the image. Now look at the image as I uh, mess with the uh, mid-tones here. Can you see what it's doing there? Obviously you can do this in uh, Photoshop as well. You know, it's not just uh, Exposure Time 7 that's got this, but I'm just showing you a uh, just quick rundown of uh, the power of this. Now, the one thing, I mean, well, not one thing, but there's many things that this has got which uh, Lightroom and Photoshop haven't got. So uh, let me just show you. So for example, now you can see these adjustments that I've done here. Yeah, you can see these adjustments that I've done. Now watch what happens, you know, like in um, Photoshop where you can actually split the screen. So you got a before and after here. Well, this, I really love this about uh, this software. Let me show you how it displays on here. So you can see before. So if I keep that pressed, it'll show me a before and after, before and after. Now I can't remember if the Time 6 version, the previous version had this, but this is good to give you an idea. I actually quite like that. It's more quicker, but you're probably thinking, yeah, but... Uh, Lightroom has got that and that's nothing special but let me show you something else guys now if I go on here now can you see all these options we've got here before after after before vertical let me show you what this does so if let's say for example I go on before and after horizontal can you see that so basically what it's done is it's given me a preview where that line is in between. It's given me a preview of what it looked like before. 
So this was the before and this is the after when I messed with the curves. Can you see that how beautiful that is? And let's look at the other options after, before, horizontal. So it's the same thing but the uh, after is on this side you now and the before it is on this side and we can do it horizontal, uh, vertical sorry. Can you see that? I mean look at that. I, I feel that is very abs uh, it's absolutely useful this uh, there. Again you're probably thinking it's no big deal we can get something similar like Lightroom which is uh, true as well but I actually think this is uh, perfect because it's all on one image you know it's just brilliant what it can do uh, so I feel that's very useful uh, you know if you are an editor and you do photography just like myself you know absolutely a very useful tool and uh, there's ab there's absolutely uh, more things that you can do so if I go into layer here if I click on layer now uh, watch what happens if I go into the uh, polygon tool. So let's just say for example I go on the polygon tool. Actually that's not it. Selection. Where's it gone? Now I haven't had uh, much play around with this so I'm just giving you a, guys a quick idea what it can do. So you can, you've got all these uh, features you can reset. Now there is something here that I'm looking for. I can't remember how I did it. Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, so now watch this guys. Now if I just want to draw around this tool and I want to make a, an edit. If I've got it. Actually, I don't think this is it. I'm just going to reset that. I can't remember where it was now. Just going to reset that. So it was over here where I've uh, brushed, I think one of these is it. No that's not it, so I, I know it is here somewhere guys but uh, let's have a look. Drama, I think this is it here. Oh no that's not it as well. Well never mind guys it will soon come to me but let me just show you the uh, let me just show you the uh, other features that it's got here anyway. So you've got all this, uh, you can texturize the image as well, similar to what we have uh, in uh, in Photoshop and stuff. But you can also create a bokeh here as well. So let's just say for example, I'm going to use the uh, square here, uh, the circle, sorry. So if I just go, just put it over here. And then what I'll do is I'll uh, put the amount. Can you see it's created that bokeh? Again, similar similar to what we have in Photoshop. But this is just a quick rundown of uh, what it can do. But the main feature what I want to show you here is, guys, the main feature is actually the, uh, the presets, the built-in presets. Now, let me just show you what I can do. Bearing in mind this is straight from the camera. But if you go on this side here, let me just show you. It's going to reset this, yeah. So if you go on this side here where the presets are, if I just close these windows, so all of these are basically uh, presets that come within the software. So let's say if you want to make your footage a bit cinematic, your images, so you click on cinema. And look at all this, we've got all of this. I mean, look how beautiful that is. You know, like I say, guys, there is a there is a 30 days free trial. So, you know, you got nothing to lose. Give it a go. And if you like it, purchase it like I'm going to do. If not, if it's not your thing, then, you know, with 30 days, you can't go wrong. I mean, look at that. Look how cinematic that is. All I've just done is put over a preset. It's absolutely brilliant for what you want it to do. Now, I will probably do another video where I'll go deep down into it. But uh, this was just a quick video to give you guys an idea of what it can do. I mean, just look at the, let me just do a before and after. Just look at that, guys. Look how beautiful that is, the before and after. Absolutely cinematic. I mean, look at that, before and after. 
and uh, and like I said before, you can uh, uh, work do your edits in uh, Photoshop. You can do your edits in Photoshop. Just mess around with the image or what have you, and then you can open this up in Exposure Seven, and then you can do your um, normal tweets in here. And then you can uh, import it back into the uh, into the uh, Lightroom, into the uh, Adobe Photoshop, sorry. But yeah, that's just to give you guys an idea. I mean, it is definitely worth a go, guys. I mean, even if you don't like it, that's what the 30 days free trial is for. I highly recommend it. You know, it is absolutely brilliant for what you want it to do. Uh, I'll definitely be purchasing it. Uh, you know, uh, version 7 has only just uh, come out. It's only just come out, so it's absolutely new. And, uh, you know, you've got all these features where you can just tweak around with the image. This is something what uh, Photoshop has something similar, but not quite like this. So, you know, like I say, I will do another video on this. So I just click on, let's just say, somewhat like the grass what you can do is you can tweak with the image then like i say i've not had a proper play around with it but it's just to give you guys an idea look can you see what it's done there so you can tweak with the colors that way as well i mean look at that just by messing with the colors look how cinematic that's been I mean, obviously, you got to mess around with the uh, skin tones as well. Oops, that's green. But it's just to give you an idea. Um, that's just my views on it, guys. But I can tell you one thing, guys. It is absolutely worth it. If you're an image edit editor, just like myself, you know, nothing to lose, you know, a lot to gain. Absolutely worth it. You might want to give it a go. I mean, I will put the... Uh, I will put the link here. Look, can you see it says new release? So it's only just come out a few days ago. You know, just give it a go, guys. It's actually uh, over here. I mean, you've got all these uh, tutorials as well. So when you go on the site, you can click on tutorials here. And, you know, it'll give you a rundown of uh, how to use it as well. So it's absolutely brilliant. I mean, I'll definitely be purchasing this you know it is amazing what it can do but yeah like i say you know i will do another video on this so you can uh, actually see uh, how it works but yeah but these presets i mean it's probably the best presets i've ever used uh not even photoshop has these uh, presets so I actually like this and this is within free within the uh, software itself. So yeah, just trying to see if I can uh, find the uh, feature here. Basically what, what normally happens is uh, you draw around the image and it lets you make adjust adjustments as well. So... Uh, I can't remember where I found it, but I'll probably do that in the next video when I've actually uh, found the feature. But, you know, it, it is absolutely, it's very easy to uh, crop around as well. That's what I was trying to show you guys. But, you know, like I said, there's plenty of tutorials online as well. It is absolutely brilliant for editing, you know. It's almost like the... Uh, next photoshop i would say it's, you know it's almost like a photoshop but they're both good in their own ways as well you've got all these features you know i can just do a full video alone just to show you the features itself it is absolutely brilliant but yeah guys uh, if this video has helped you i know i've not shown you much but it was just to give you a guys a quick idea of uh, how this would work so you did like this video and um, i will do another one as well so just to go in deep down with the features so if you like this video like guys please give me a thumbs up smash that subscribe button and i'll see you guys on the next video thank you for watching